Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, we're going to talk about a project called Unique G. Uh, they have this token called Unique G. This is a whole uh, NFT project with their whole collection and they're developing the art house. Um, I'm not going to get into details right now because there's a whole history behind this. Uh, there's things that we need to you know discuss so we'll get right into it um just note that anything i say is not going to be an investment or a financial advice so always do your own investigation research and with this out of the way let's move straight to the project now this is the official website of unique g token uh, i'm gonna put the link in the description so you can get it from there now we're gonna understand what this whole project is what it you know revolves around what the concept is what makes it unique uh since this is an nft project we're gonna get details of course uh but uh we talked about how this is fusing um technology and tradition uh which is the thing that makes it unique so we're gonna discuss how they're managing to do that and for this we need to go somewhere in the past to understand the origin of this whole idea or the concept so um, back in in the you know the 90s 1946 in Zurich there was a person known as Rudolf Guggenheim uh, who had this idea that he wanted to create the unique Guggenheim shaving brush uh, this was you know the, he wanted to make the whole collection in the April of 1973 he was born in 1946 so that was when the idea was born and now in 2022, this is where this whole project is founded uh, by the son of this person. So uh, his name is Rudy uh, Guggenheim, who is now the founder of this project, who is the son of the Rudolf uh, Guggenheim. Now, he developed this idea further by, you know, transferring it to the digital and the virtual world. And they created this whole uh, unique Guggenheim uh, shaving brush collection. Uh, now we're gonna get details on uh, all the other, you know, the NFTs and uh, what else is going to be in this one. But we need to understand what makes NFT project successful. Um, and uh, for that, if we have been around the market uh, in the crypto and looking at different NFTs, there's one thing that you know put nfts or a collection in the spotlight and that is how unique the concept is a lot of people believe that they build the quality you know the uh the graphics that's the thing that matters but that's not entirely true uh, i mean that also matters the build quality and the graphics uh that do matter if you make a sloppy looking nft no matter how much you know how many promotions you do or no matter with whom actually if you get it promoted by let's say Elon Musk or Eminem then probably even if it's sloppy it's going to get you know succeeded I mean we can take a look at the you know board ape yacht club I mean graphically they looked nice but you know it's I don't know and I, I personally and a lot of other people personally didn't find it really attractive but the thing is it was unique that's the thing that's the important thing it was unique it was taken or adopted by someone that has a you know wide audience and that's the reason why it became successful I mean, take a look at pixel arts. I mean, pixels, that's just, you know, that's not a, that's not good graphics, right? We all can agree. That's not good graphics. This is like the most simplest form of graphic. But people still, you know, made those. And they made a lot of, you know, there's a lot of pixel arts uh, out there in the you know, NFT sphere. And uh, if you go out, you know, making more of the pixel art NFTs, there's there's very minimum chance, uh, very little chance you, you're you going to succeed or if anyone is going to buy this because there's a lot of people doing that thing. So it's not unique anymore. To do, to make an NFT project or collection successful, you need, for, the first thing is that it has to be unique. It is supposed to, it ideally, it should be based on an idea that is unique, that is different and that is something that no one else has ever thought of and definitely no one ever thought of making an NFT correction, you know, collection of shaving brush and uh, making those creative NFTs. If you can take a look at this one right here, these are the few uh, that we have right here. And like this one, we have, you know, uh, golf balls made into the uh, shaving brush and it's being hit by the golf stick. So this idea, like 
guess everyone can agree this is unique this is creative this is different and the whole idea of shaving brush nfts is itself very different and you will not be finding this anywhere else you know uh, even if you go to the most populous uh, nft marketplaces so that out of the way that this is why this project is significant and important because it is extremely unique and it has this whole history and a good story behind this uh, it's not just it's, it is developed right now in this very year but the idea was made uh many decades ago so if you read here uh they have their, their own token which is you know empowering this uh you know these nfts this nft collection so it's called unique g token the unique guggenheim collection is uh pursuing a global vision or a holistic approach that fuses tradition and technology uh because well this is considered as something traditional right and now it's not like they're selling out shaving brushes uh they're selling on art of the shaving brushes so that's that's been made possible with the help of technology because it is now you know transferred this idea is transferred to the digital and the virtual world with the help of technology now it says that unique is a bab 20 uh, token that is generated on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, you can buy it on the Pancake Swap. We're going to check out the distribution uh, of this token uh, where it is being used. So, if you want to buy this, uh, you can come to the you know the Pancake Swap Exchange, click on I understand, then import. You'll be connecting your wallet here, uh, preferably MetaMask, uh, and then you're going to you know make sure that you have the Binance Smart Chain added and uh, you have this you know selected and you have BNB into it because you will be swapping your BNB to get unique G token. Now they have a you know tutorial placed uh, right here, so you can follow this to buy it. We're gonna discuss the distribution uh, that we have right here. Now the distribution matters. Uh, if you come to the white paper again, this will be linked in the description. Uh, it says in distributing the unique G tokens, it was important to us to achieve the fairest possible distribution at the time of market launch without any individual holding large quantities of unique G tokens, so that there are no whales in this one uh, they have made 25 percent of the tokens available to their community so here's the distribution 25 percent for the community 25 percent for the nft ecosystem 20 percent for the team 10 percent marketing 10 percent partnerships 10 percent promotions now you will notice there's a lot of things that are there to endorse these nfts this whole project because uh, one of the things that matters in making successful nft projects is well the idea needs to be unique uh, the graphics needs to be good um and uh you know it needs to be promoted properly so that people can have an idea that this does exist and it should be endorsed by someone that people know about people trust and has you know the person has credibility so for these this whole portion of you know promotions and partnerships and marketing this is where this is utilized and if we talk about the whole you know the nft marketplace uh what is worth and what you know it'll be worth in the future it is currently nearly about like 55 billion dollars in the 2022 and this is expected to, to increase way much more in the future it says here that the you know the market research from the markets and markets uh, predicts that the nft market will grow to about like 100 billion dollars in 2027 which is about like five years from now so uh, this does you know definitely have good potential the market itself has a good potential now uh, we're going to learn about what it has planned for the future what we can expect in the future now uh, this is the founder which is which we already have discussed uh who he is uh he is the son of the person who came up with the idea and you can see everything here is completely doxed the team itself is doxed uh you can take a look at the team right here so all of them are doxed uh, the liquidity has been locked uh they have the artist support program and they have token burn event also and uh, if you take a look at what's going to happen in the future they li got listed on pancakes which we just saw on and this happened in may in june they launched the shaving brush nft collection um in july they're listing on ma you know major exchanges which includes uh well they're contract address you can search it up on the visa scan we just checked them on the pancake server you can buy the token um well it is on the bind smart chain uh then they have are listed on the nomex unicrypt uh you know p2b b2b and this is coin tool so this is where they're currently listed on uh and then afterwards in the september they're going to launch the unique g nft marketplace in the october they're going to have the first guggenheim shaving brush auction and in the december they're going to launch the unique g art house and uh, well this is i think all about the project that we have right here 
um if you have any question of course you can ask me in the comment section but yeah this is all of you guys in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned disclaimer trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital you should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives, and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.